Hi everyone, so today I'll be showing you how to make a dashiki shirt. So what you're going to need is two yards of dashiki fabric, a measuring tape, iron, pins, scissors, fabric chalk and a sewing machine. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up our fabric and fold it in half. And make sure everything's aligned and straight. And then you're going to fold it in half again and get the middle of it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to iron the fabric. So iron the middle, iron the whole fabric itself, make sure it's wrinkle free. So now we're going to cut out the neck. So basically I measure 2 centimeters for the length and 3.5 centimeters for the width. And then I marked it. And then I cut it following the pattern basically. So now I open it up and now I'm going to cut the opening of the neck. Normally it would be like six centimeters, but because you can already see the pattern, I just follow the pattern and cut it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch it, but first we need to split it in order to make it easier to stitch. So I split the corners and then I did loads of little splits all the way around. And then I folded it in half and basically stitched it. As you can see I folded it and now I'm stitching it. And you just continue to stitch all the way around. And voila, a bit of dancing here, back to work. So now we're going to do the body. So here I use a t-shirt as a template and I basically just drew on the lines to make it long as the fabric itself. And then I cut it. So yeah, I also added about 2 inch steam allowance just to make it a bit more baggy and 1 inch for stitching. So then I folded it in half and used the one, the side that I just cut as a template for this one so that they can both be equal in the same sort of size. So I made sure everything was aligned. It's really important for it to be aligned because if it's not then it's just going to come out looking wonky and no, it's not going to be nice. Then I just cut it out again. So now we basically have the body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure one inch all the way around so this is going to be sort of the line that we stitch on so just measure and mark measure and mark so when you're stitching you'll be able to see the line that you're going to follow and your stitch will be straight And now I'm going to pin it because sometimes the fabric can just do its own thing and just move and this is really important. So please pin or else your fabric will come out looking wonky. Just pin all the patterns together. Pin it down and then 
so you're gonna follow the line you drew earlier the one inch and just sew it sew it and sew it After you've sewn it, you're going to sort of split the armpits. You're just going to split and make sure you don't touch the stitch line that you just sewn. You're going to split the other side as well. You split it so it's going to be easier to iron and also it's just going to be weird if you don't split it. So you just have to do it something you have to do really. Now I'm going to open the stitch line and sort of just iron it and then flip it the other way around and iron it as you can see it's coming up fine I folded in like half an inch here but then I realized it was a bit too long and then I folded in two more inches after that the end result so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching see you next time bye bye